Now the third problem is another kind of problem. It has been earlier given in our channel as a graphical solution but still some people are finding difficulty while solving when two apparent dips are given and you have to find out the true dip by using stereo net so the detail of graphical method you will be able to observe from our earlier video and the basic concept is lying there only but for stereo net the modus operandi will be changed the, but the basic theory will be same so here the problem is given as in this way apparent dips of a sedimentary bed are 30 degree towards 50 degree and a 38 degree towards east that is towards 90 degree so first we have to write to information two apparent dips one is 30 degree towards 50 degree and next is 38 degree towards east or 90 degree so these two are apparent dip so we have to find out the attitude of the bed attitude of the bed means the strike and true dip so if, as you know the true dip is the maximum dip and measured perpendicular to the strike line so first we need to plot these two apparent dips so there will be a single plane only so we won't do that in the format of plane here we will do this we will plot these two data as a just like the plunge so 50 degree we have to mark first data so 50 degree this is 10 20 30 40 50 so this is 50 degree so we have to make it in such a way that this is now 50 degree is on the east to west line apparent dip amount is 30 this is the amount this is the amount so 0 0 10 20 30 so point it like this and here you may write 30 towards 50 and again another data is 38 towards 90 and 90 is the direction so this is the 90 and this is 38 so 0 10 20 30 here it is 40 so this one will be 38 so right 38 towards 90 now you have to rotate at the two points in such a way that they will lie on a great circle so here they almost lie on a great circle but not properly so if you rotate in this way you can see that these two points are now lying on a great circle on a single great circle see the same great circle the same great circle means constant great circle means a constant plane so this is the great circle
which actually represent the plane so here is the great circle and therefore this is the true dip and this is just 2 degree so and dip amount is almost same so 38 degree towards 92 is the true dip and the strike is one end is 182 degree and another end will be 2 degree so the attitude of the plane will be 2 degree 38 degree towards 92 degree so this is the answer is the way we have to solve this problem and the stereonet will be looking like this this is one apparent dip this is another apparent dip which was given very close with the true dip and this is the true dip amount Okay, and this is the actual data. This is strike, this is true deep amount, this is true deep direction. So these are about today's problem. Three problems we have solved in this way. Hopefully you have enjoyed this session. And if you like our videos, you and then please click the button like and if you find in difficulties in comment section you may write and if you want us to solve any numerical or anything you can send those problems in comment section so for now thank you please subscribe our channel GSI SOA and don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated Thank you. Thank you all.